As rain continues to fall, it's a race against unrelenting waters in Ascension Parish. That's a more towards the front. Down the front. Warren Abair and helpers build a sand fortress around his mother-in-law's house on King Road that is threatened by flooding higher than he's seen in over 35 years. We had an unusual problem during today's wet weather. The heavy rains caused about a dozen caskets to float from the grave sites. Loved ones of people buried there rushed to the cemetery. They heard the news and they prevented them from floating away. They kind of used sandbags to weigh the caskets down and other Others opted to just move the casket to higher ground. In Iberville Parish, an assembly line of neighbors tried to save a home from flooding in White Castle. People who live there say flooding is a constant problem. Parts of town are low-lying, so when water comes, they say it stays there. Some say their homes couldn't be saved, so they just had to try and get whatever they could out of them. Always remember just how dangerous an EF1 tornado can be. Just about every vehicle in there, all their windows are gone. Just ending his night shift at the Marathon Refinery, Johnson says he was on a golf cart heading towards his truck when everything changed. Everything got loud, everything got real dark, and then the wind came. And uh, after that it was grab anything you can grab a hold of and get low. And went from a golf cart, when the golf cart blew away, it was hold out of the staircase. And, uh, wait for it to stop. National Weather Service meteorologist Ken Graham explains why Johnson had just a short time to realize a tornado was forming. When it was bad. What looks like children rowing in a boat is actually their backyard. If you just took off walking towards that thing, towards them pipes sticking up out the ground, one step past that and you're in a 30 foot deep pond. And a big pond is what many of these homes' front yards look like. There it is higher than I've ever seen it here before. While sandbags did the trick for some, others further west in Lutcher were not so lucky. Never before. This video from St. James Parish, a uh -oh. decent sized alligator, yeah, came up to the edge of the water today wondering what this was all about. Of course, yeah. they took care of him <laughs> before he took care of them. Anna are still flooded after heavy rains overnight into this morning. Yeah, close to a foot of rain fell in about 12 hours. And tonight we check in with our Kristen Holloway and Karen Crow, where several homeowners say they're tired of flooding problems in their neighborhood. After a night of heavy rain, Chelsea Cobb and Corey Malasa are some of the lucky ones who didn't see water inside of their homes. Outside is a different story. Seeing that, you know, just one night's rain basically could do this, it, it does kind of make me see uh, we got to take some precautions, get some sandbags and some dirt and keep it by our house because this is our first experience with it. But just a few houses down, Rob Spell woke up to water knocking at his front door. It's enough to have a claim, you know, as far as how much there is on the carpet and stuff like that. It extends out about three to four inches, you know, and then the baseboards are starting to swell already. Probably going to be staying in a hotel probably for the next two nights to try to let all this blow over. Welcome back. Well, after flooding rains overnight through this morning, we could certainly use a break in the showers and storms, and we've gotten a little bit of it this afternoon and this evening, but we do have some activity, and we could see a lot more developing later on tonight. We're just going to have to wait and see by tonight. This is the rainfall that fell anywhere between, uh, we'll say, Jeff Davis Parish through Upper St. Martin Parish, five to seven inches of rain. Heaviest rain showing up, at least on the Doppler, across western portions of Lafayette Parish from Dusan up through Valley. Vatican and uh, the Kankton area, and then back to the west. Crowley, Maxi, Mawada seeing nearly 10 to 11 inches of rain if you look at the key, and then over toward Mermita as well. So better than 10 inches of rain, and most of it came in less than 10 to 12 hours. That's why we had the flooding. 83 the high, 69 the morning start, and look at this, the official uh, number out at the airport, 6.87 inches, pretty much inundating the previous record of a two and a quarter inches of rain. And we're ahead for the month, and guess what? That drought completely erased with...